What's going on everybody? This is going to be a quick video discussion and comparison slash review of these Probe Master probes. Made in the USA, gold plated, gold plated banana plugs, extremely flexible. I'm going to be comparing them to my new everyday leads. These are the Fluke TL-175s with the twist lock. A little bit more durable. You've got handy uh, Cat 2 to Cat 3 rating quick twist locks. And I'm also going to kind of discuss uh, use cases and try to help you make an informed buying decision. Uh, I bought these first and I quickly realized they're just not great for my application and then I actually had a $25 gift card for Fluke's website um, so I went ahead and used that to purchase these. They are a little bit more expensive and I would say overall uh, a little lower quality however the functionality and utility that I get out of these twist lock mechanisms I think make the transition to these worth it. Now I just upgraded recently to a 902 FC from Fluke uh, this is a pretty nice meter. It's the nicest one I've ever owned. It, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got a Klein magnet on the back. Um, it's got most of my basic kind of everyday stuff I'd ever need. And I mean, to be honest with you guys, I don't use it as much as I use my, uh, this is my King Sun. No, I'm just kidding. This is a, what is this? A T600 from Fluke. This thing's killer. Um, it's got just voltage, AC, DC amps, AC, and a continuity. It's got the field sense technology in there, which I've used just a, a few times for uh, doing quick checks on switches or on solenoids, uh, uh, wires powering solenoids. Anyways, uh, this is my daily driver, and I really like this meter because I feel like it's, it just feels pretty durable, right? Like I can wear this on my hip and run and do something non-electrical related, and I don't worry about um, scraping this up too bad. It's also got pretty short leads, and what I do is just jam this in the little D there. Hook these leads around the fork, and I've got all my leads tied up fairly nicely. Um, this is just a cheap Amazon knockoff fluke case. I wanted to buy this to see if I'd actually carry this on my hip, and it had the uh, uh, kind of a poly fake leather on the back, which I cut out with a utility knife because it just didn't have good grab and I had to bend the clip a little bit to get it to stay on my hip. Anyways, I like these leads a lot because they feel durable, they're flexible. Um, I wish they were a little bit more flexible maybe, but I'd rather have them a little bit harder uh, lead material and be a little bit more durable rather than uh, more flexible just for everyday carry. Uh, you've also got the Cat3 uh, terminal connectors or uh, probe protectors. These are nice. Um, they've been on here for two, three months already, and they've not fallen off. Uh, it is sort of difficult to get these leads out of the back if you have gloves on, especially if all this gets tangled. But uh, anyways, moving on here. I bought these uh, probe masters when I bought my Fluke, and... I did a lot of research online, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos from some really excellent electronics hobbyists, and I decided to go with the Probe Masters. They're gold-plated, the internal, uh, the, the lead itself tested extremely low resistance and quick, uh, very fast continuity detection, basically. And I don't know a whole lot about lead construction, but these seemed like extremely well-built leads for a good price point, so I bought these. But I quickly discovered that they just didn't feel confidence inspiring. They didn't inspire confidence when I was carrying this meter out in the building. Uh, it's an industrial environment full of dust and um, a lot of grinding and welding, conductive material, and I just don't feel comfortable carrying these all day. They just feel a little bit too delicate for me. They're extremely comfortable, well designed. Um, again, you've got this little sort of uh, finger stop here 
which is really nice, especially if you have gloves on, just understanding, getting some tactile feedback about where your fingers are in relation to high voltage circuits is kind of nice. Um, and the lead material is extremely flexible, both on the back of the probe itself, but the leads are, are very flexible. Um, so as far as range of motion and freedom of movement, these, I think, uh, take the cake over the flukes. But I, uh, I got tired of having to spin these off, these little probe uh, protectors, in order to get into outlets. And then I'd have to set them down somewhere where they're out of the dust and not going to get packed full of crud. And we're, weren't going to roll away off into Narnia. And then I'd have to, whenever I'm done checking whatever I need to check, I have to spin these back on so I don't lose them. And then they can go back wrapped around the meter for the day. Uh, I bought the Flukes. I had a $25 gift card for Fluke.com, so that made the purchase a little easier. But these have basically internal super fast storage for the Cat 2 to Cat 3 rating protectors. For me, that's a total win, right? Like, I'm not dealing with super high tolerance electronics. I'm dealing with three-phase electricity, 480 volt or 277. I'm dealing with uh, just larger fuses, like 600 volt rated, 15, 20, 25, 30 amp fuses. I'm just doing quick continuity checks, stuff like that. Basic uh, motor winding, quick diagnostics, you know, checking windings, um, which I would maybe prefer these... Uh, these probes for given the lower internal resistance, but just for a quick check out in the field, I think these would be sufficient. The lead material is certainly a little bit less flexible, however, they just feel more durable. Uh, they feel a little bit harder, or maybe that's the double jacketing I'm feeling, and then they might last um, just as long, or they won't last much longer than the probe master leads, but uh, they do inspire confidence uh, when I'm using them with my meter. And that's why I think uh, I made this video really. I wish I um, didn't buy these for my industrial purposes. I wish I just bought these off the rip. That being said, um, those probe masters are super nice probes, but I don't see a lot of guys reviewing leads that are more uh, industrial oriented. So I just wanted to make this quick video and I hope somebody found it helpful. Thanks for watching.